Hello everybody, welcome to a special farming simulator informational video. Yay! Hello everybody, I'm Derek Tebbers. This is your Farming Simulator 15 informational video. Woohoo! Uh, I had a question from a viewer, LM701, and they asked a question, well, they made the statement, they didn't believe they were actually making money making sandwiches using the UPK kit. And I can understand why you would think that because it's actually pretty complex to make the jump all the way from a truckload of wheat to a truckload of sandwiches. So what we're going to do is we're going to step through those various phases and I'm going to put a bunch of numbers on the screen and we'll see how it all turns out. First things first, there's a couple things that you need to understand about the way the price structures work in Farming Simulator. As you change your level from easy to medium to hard, you actually have your pricing. So here in this game, I'm actually running on easy because it's my test game. And you'll notice that the diner, the wheat, is $1,171 per ton. Now in this game, mathematically the rounding is very very slight, but it's basically one liter per ton, uh, uh, per pound or whatever you want to call it. Basically, it's $1.17 per liter in the way this game does the math around wheat, barley, canola, and corn. So you can just move the decimal point to where the comma is, and you've got your per liter price. So what does that mean? That means that as we look here, Ignore that, obviously, that's a great demand. But you look at these prices, the average wheat price on a game that's just been started, no great demands, no fluctuations due to buying or selling, in easy, your average is going to be $1.15 per liter, or $1,146 per ton. On a medium game, you're going to be looking at about $573 a ton, which is about 57 cents a liter. And on a hard game, $287 a ton, which is 29 cents a liter. These are very important numbers. So we're here in front of our big mill here. We've got two trucks. They have 9,700 liters of wheat in them. So we're going to start by loading our mill. Now, the way that this UPK works is we don't just load the mill and get no money. We're actually going to get paid for loading the mill up. So if we get in our truck here and we start selling, what we're going to earn here is $13,580 or about $1.40 a liter for this wheat. So we're getting paid a premium over taking it to the market. In fact, if we consider uh, the average percentage increase formula, P1 minus P2 over P1 times 100, where P2 is $1.15 a liter, we see that we have a 22% premium just by selling our wheat here. That's it. We just sold our wheat. We have a 22% premium over what it would be in game. Now, these numbers do hold up when you go to, me to a medium and a hard game. So it the increase or decrease, depending on your point of view, uh, is equal for these. So we're going to go ahead and sell this as well. The reason we're going to do this is because there's two tracks here. There's the bread and there's the sandwiches. And they actually do matter which one you choose. Now once we've sold this, of course, it has to process. Now we do get something else out of this processing, and that is mixed rations. Now mixed rations we're going to consider a non-monetary benefit. So we're not going to count the, the pricing of mixed rations. Obviously there are games or maps where you can sell mixed rations, but we're not going to count that here. We're going to consider it just a non-monetary benefit that we get from uh, milling our wheat. So we've got our wheat processing now. We'll process it super fast in a moment. But for sandwiches, we need something more. Turn on this as I walk up here. We're going to need tomatoes and we're going to need cucumbers. To make tomatoes and cucumbers, we're going to need greenhouses. I'm not counting the cost of the greenhouse in this. And we're going to need to fill it with water, which costs 20 cents per liter, regardless of your difficulty. 
Now you can factor that in or not. I choose not to factor that in because you can also use Quellwasser or spring water if you use the right version of the mod and spring water is free. There's also plenty of mods out there where you can put in free water or you can get water out of streams, things like that where it doesn't cost you anything. So I'm not going to count that. You also need manure, which comes from your cows. And to get your cows, you need to input something. But again, I'm not counting that cost either. So we're just going to look at tomatoes and cucumbers as a, as a base raw. Strangely enough, green truck has cucumbers, red truck has tomatoes. Bet you couldn't figure that one out. All right, we have 9,700 liters of cucumbers. We can only hold 6,000 liters here at the facility. Now, while it's loading, let me give you some numbers here on the cucumbers. We're going to get $15,600 on sell uh, for selling 6,000 liters of cucumbers. That's $2.60 a liter. Now, if we went straight to the sell point and sold our cucumbers, we would have gotten $2.50 a liter. So we would have gotten 10 cents less. So again, we're getting a small premium here, very small premium in this case, to selling here. Tomatoes, we're gonna get $15,000 for our 6,000 liters of tomatoes here. $2.50 $2 a liter here at the bakery. If we went and sold it directly, uh, we'd be selling at uh, $2.60. Yeah, $2.60. Is that right? Yeah, sorry, we're, we're, get, we're being underpaid. Okay, so I've got my tomatoes and my cucumbers there. We're going to have to speed everything up here really quick. All right, so we've sped everything up. We have 1,462 liters of flour. We also have 1,492 liters of mixed rations. Again, we're not counting the price of the mixed rations. Now, we've got to get the flour out of here Here's the thing, it does cost you to get flour out. Believe it or not, they charge you to get the flour out that you put in. They did give you money for it to begin with. Now here we go, we're gonna pick up our flour. Now picking up our flour, it's gonna cost us $1,316, about 90 cents a liter for this collection. Now, I could go directly selling this flour if I chose to, to directly sell this flour where you get about $1.85 a liter in toto for the flour. So we're getting about a 38% premium again on selling the flour or the wheat, I'm sorry, direct. I'm gonna go ahead and drop this flour off. Now we're gonna get paid for this drop off. Yep, we get paid left, right, and center around here. So we're gonna get paid for this drop off. If I would actually have gone to the right spot. Uh, so, ooh, sorry. So delivery of the flour, we're gonna get paid $1,683. There we go, deliver that. Uh, so about $1.15 a liter. So we've already made the money back that we spent getting the flour from the mill. So that's a positive right there. Now we're gonna have to convert this into bread and sandwiches. Go and deliver this really quick. It won't take us very long to make this conversion into bread and or sandwiches. There we go. Now, you'll note that we didn't get nearly the 9,700 liters that we put in. We got quite a component less, but that's actually okay for us because the amount of increase in premium more than makes up for it. So now we can actually see both buildings at the same time right now. So we're going to advance a little bit and see what we see here. So we got some bread already done, some sandwiches. We'll just keep rolling until we're done with our flour. And then we have to keep going until we're done with our bread and the other one here. There we go. All right. So we've developed 974 liters of bread and 1,949 liters of sandwiches. Notice though, We've only used 487 liters of cucumbers and 487 liters of tomatoes. The total cost to us, the, the base cost, if we were to go sell those 487 liters, is over $1,200. However, when you consider we were paid a premium, 10 cent premium, for the tomatoes and the cucumbers, we actually are gonna come out ahead by $49 believe it or not. So let's get our bread. 
Uh, this guy had the bread, yes. All right, so we're going to go pick up our bread here. And it's going to cost us to pick up this bread. Of course it's going to cost us to pick up the bread. It's going to cost us $1,559 or $1.60 a liter to pick up our 974 liters of bread. Now we can go sell this. If I could not run over the tree, that would be a start. Now we can go sell this bread. To sell this bread at our... To sell this bread at our sell point here, we are going to make... Is that pull in here? There we go. We're going to make $4,833. That's $4.96 a liter for that 974 liters of bread. Now, what does that mean to us? Well, we'll get there as soon as we get the sandwiches, because I want to cover that off at the same time we do the sandwiches. So let's go get some sandwiches. Our sandwich shop. As soon as I remember where to collect my sandwiches, they're collected around front, because that's how the bakery works. There we go. So to get the sandwiches out of our bakery, we're going to spend $3,343 or $1.72 per liter. We have our sandwiches. Now there is always a chance that you're going to lose one liter. It's a randomized loss of one liter at any particular time. I'm always making the assumption I'm not going to lose that liter. And so I've done this about four times to make sure my numbers were right. And that one liter, I'm not worried about it. I'm going to sell my sandwiches, and selling my sandwiches here is going to get me $9,938, or $5.10 a liter for our 1,949 liters. All right, let me run over here so we can look at our sign. Big, here we go, our sign. All right, so what does that mean? For the 9,700 liters of wheat that we originally started out with, Okay, if we just sold the flour, we'd make $17,977. That is $1.85 a liter in an easy game. Bread, our 9,700 liters of wheat, we would gain 1,000, uh, I'm sorry, $17,221. That's $1.78 a liter. Sandwiches, for our 9,700 liters of wheat that we started with, we would get $20,640. That is $2.13 a liter. Remember, that is nicely halved when you go to, to a medium game and halved again when you go to a hard game. So what does that mean? Well, that means we're, we're getting quite a premium here, but there's an interesting point to be made. I'm getting a 22% premium when I sell my wheat to the mill. When I then go and sell, sell the flour, I'm getting a 38% premium on the wheat. But when I, if I were to just go sell bread, I'm only going to get a 35% premium. I'm actually going to lose out if I take my flour to the bakery, but I don't provide the bakery tomatoes and cucumbers. It's better for me to take the flour directly to the sell point rather than to turn it into bread in that condition. But if I do have my tomatoes and my cucumbers, my sandwiches, I'm going to get a 46% premium over just selling the wheat directly to an in-game sell point. So do you make money with this? Yes, you do. Is it crazy? Yes, it is. But you make money. That's the important point. LM701, there you go. There's money to be made in sandwiches. Till next time, remember, the only thing better than a cucumber and tomato sandwich it's a bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich, or a bacon, tomato, and cucumber sandwich. Either way, I'm hungry again. Goodbye, everybody.